Hi you guys, SACBBW916 here. It's about 3.15 and I was hoping to be able to tell you guys that I worked out those scenarios that I had gotten um, from Dot in Chicago um, because I did go out to Walgreens and you know I got everything that was in that scenario. Um, so it was in stock and that was another thing I was kind of testing because um, there's a new assistant manager um, there and he's really working really hard to make sure the stuff is in stock. You know, not only, you know, I got several of the Dove uh, bars and stuff like that. And, you know, everything that was in this, in that scenario, I got. And, you know, enough to do it twice. So, you know, I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be home in bed by 3 a.m. You know, this is going so well. So then, you know, there was a little snap food that was my fault. I grabbed the wrong Dove coupons. But that's okay. I had um, just run out to the car and got some, um, the right ones. You know, and so then, you know, we ring it up and guess what? The sale price for the Dove men's bar did not ring up. It's 2 a.m. in the freaking morning. You know, because when I first came in there, they didn't have the new sales ads out, um, which I needed to look at because, um, oh, the Lady Mitchum. You know, if you guys work this scenario, make sure you don't grab the Lady Mitchum uh, with uh, the the 25% bonus because it makes it outside of the price uh the size range for the register rewards so that's how they get you so make sure you just get the regular size one not the bonus one you know for which is still a really good deal so you know the 25% bonus you know you make up for getting an extra one you know do this scenario again anyway um so i get to the register and it's not ringing up so then they're trying to tell me that uh you can't use the men's uh i said no it says six pack uh, bar soap. It doesn't exclude the men's. I said in the past when they don't want you to use the men's, you know, they specify, you know, men's this or, you know, excludes men's that or, you know, this only, um, whatever. I said, it doesn't say that. It says six bars. I said, I, so he goes and grabs the, the regular Dove bar. Guess what? It didn't ring up with the sale price. <laughs> so it wasn't, you know, me trying to get out. So, you know, I'm thinking, here I am again, you know, at the front of the store, you know, which I hate to be there, but, you know, that's the only place they have a register at that time of night. So, you know, here I am, you know, everybody's thinking, you know, what the hell is she doing, you know? And I'm just, like, really, really frustrated. So now they're telling me, you know, because in the past they've told me, oh, don't come, you know, and actually I got caught one time, you know, um, in between where, uh, midnight and 1 a.m., their machine shuts down where they can still bring stuff up, but if it comes with a register reward, it won't print out. I mean, even when the employees got caught the same day I did, you know, because he got something that generated a register reward to make um, those little cans of coffee free, and it didn't give him his register reward. So he, you know, basically lost out on a dollar. So then I, you know, I, on the other hand, I had a cart full of stuff, and I sat down and I waited, you know, so until the machine came back up. But, you know, it was a good hour because, I mean, I missed it like maybe five minutes and we would have been in the middle of my transactions anyway. So, um, you know, I waited and it was one o'clock. And so not only did I have to wait that hour, but then I still had to go through and bring the transactions up. So here I am, you know, because even then, uh, when I went in uh, one day in the middle of the night when I was collecting my papers and stuff like that, and I hopped in there just to, you know, pick up a couple of things that were uh, free after register rewards um, before they all got sold out. The system manager told me, he says, oh, make sure you don't come this time of night. He's all come after 2 a.m. He's all that way, you know, the register reward machine will be back up. I said, well, they told me 1 a.m. I said, it was, he's like, yeah, it could be any time in between. I shuts down at midnight and it could take as long as 2 a.m. So I stayed at home until 2 a.m. Okay, get there pretty much right on 2 a.m. I went and checked my P.O. box, did you know, and did that. And so I got there right around 2 a.m. And it took me about maybe 10, 15 minutes to gather the stuff um, in my cart, you know. And it took me another 45 minutes fussing with them because they're telling me now, you know, oh, this is the worst time of night to come because everything's downloading. Downloading, you know, the sale starts at midnight. You know, first of all, you know, you should have the sale prices. 
you know, not all the stores here in Sacramento are 24 hours. And so that means that the majority of the stores close at 10 o'clock. Well, those stores don't need the update right now. They can update when they open in the morning. Okay. Corporate should give the priority to the stores that stay open 24 hours. So basically you can still cater to the tweakers and the drunks, you know, sell them cigarettes and beer and condoms and, you know, whatever, and having them, you know, satisfy their munchies. But, you know, the sale ad, you know, people, you know, you're just shit out of luck. Oh my God, I was so pissed. And, you know, and I know it's not their fault, but, you know, and it's like, and I told him, I said, you know, I'm just tired of hearing the bullshit excuses. You know, if you're out of something, the warehouse didn't send it. You know, you guys are just dropping the ball. I said, you know, the thing is, is that you know that they can uh, manually print out your register reward. They just choose not to. So, you know, yeah, I could have sat there and made him adjust the price, you know, and still worked my transactions, but why? You know, why? Half the fun is seeing that out-of-pocket total come down. You know, why should I have to do it? So anyway, so now, you know, he promised to save my cart. And so I'll have to go back in the morning, you know, later on. So that means I'm going to have to get up earlier than I planned. I plan to stay in bed all morning, you know, and enjoy my last day of freedom before I had to go back to work. And now I got to get up and go in the middle of the day, you know, and fight with all the people trying to get to Sunday school on time. Uh and go and do all these transactions it pisses me off you know i am so pissed right now and you know i apologize for ranting to you guys but yeah this is ridiculous that you know they're doing this because cvs doesn't have you know this issue there's a mcdonald's across the street that has a 24-hour drive through do you think they shut down and tell people sorry you have to come back at four o'clock in the morning because we can't print anything until our computer comes back down there's a del taco across the street they don't have that problem. A and PM. There's so many 24-hour stores that you know function. CVS doesn't have this problem. CVS seamlessly, you know, because I got um, caught after midnight, and I'm thinking like, oh crap, you know, I'm here at midnight. I'm gonna have to wait, and nothing. Extra bucks printed out, just as if I was there during the middle of the day. This is just some Walgreens bullshit. You know, I mean, oh my God. And I understand in a day transactions. Yes, 5, 10, 15 minutes, even an hour. Take your hour and download your stuff. You know, but at the end of that time, you should be open for business. Otherwise, shut all of it down. You know, don't sell cigarettes, don't sell alcohol, don't sell anything. Just close down all of them at 10 o'clock or whatever like that. And then open up in the morning fresh and that way you don't have people coming in at two o'clock in the morning and you have to tell them you know yes i know we're a 24 hour store but we can't function like that during the middle of the night you know i'm i'm not sure i'm just pissed but you know i'm going to take you know i posted on a blog but i'm going to relax and see how pissed off i am still in the morning you know i can't i can't write to um Walgreens uh, tonight because it's just going to sound like I'm a maniac. Um, so I'm going to try to calm down a little bit. You know, so, you know, basically I, I got home by three o'clock, you know, but I was empty handed. And so, <laughs> you know, I don't know, you guys, I'm just ready to give up on Walgreens because, you know, and used to, I used to think Rite Aid was the butt crack of the drugstores and, you know, Walgreens is slowly surpassing them. So, look, yeah. Look like I got a butt hit. Anyway, um, I'm going to get off of here now and let you guys go.